We saw you reacting with your family. Go ahead and name Sorry the about people. That. You're good. You're good. You just won the MVP. Name the people on the couch with you right now. My wife, my wonderful wife, Amy, my daughter, Emma, my son, Jake. That's wonderful. Uh, before we dive into the uh, interview, Paul, can I bring Albert Pools back in live on MLB Network? Albert, yeah. is there something man, you... how cool was that? All uh, right. <laughs> Albert, what would you Albert, like to you, say? Man. That was awesome. <laughs> what would you like to say to Paul? Well, brother, congratulations. This is the first one of many more, hopefully, to come. Uh, Well-deserved. Um, what an honor to play with you this year. Uh, what I love about you is just the way that you conduct yourself, you know, off the field and the field, the great teammate that you are. And um, what an honor, you know, just to say I play the finals year in San Luis and play, I would say, one of the best first basemen in the game right now. So congratulations. Enjoy with the family. And uh, the first one, but hopefully many more to come, brother. Man, wow, it's really special to have you, Albert. It was amazing, you know, to play with you. The kids to get to witness what you did this year. So uh, unbelievable the time you took, you know, even whenever we first met eight, ten years ago to, to coach me up and take the time to talk to me and to be the example you are for, for me and my kids. I mean, even Manny and Nolan, we all, you know, are trying to play like you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Albert Pujols, thank you so much yeah. for doing this tonight. That, that was, was awesome. so much fun. Wow, what a moment. Uh, Harold, hey. dive right in. Well, it, Paul, hey, you know, we I know this is a baseball on the field award. You put up the numbers. <laughs> At one point, you're tracing the triple crown. Without a doubt, you win the MVP here. But, uh, you know, everybody keeps talking about you off the field. And I see your family. And when we were talking with you earlier, mm -hmm. I was intrigued with the fact that you said, what pushed me to get back to an all-star game I wanted my kids to experience it. Uh, that, was, that just hit home. Tell me why that was so important. Uh, I mean, that was just a really special honor to, to play at the All-Star Game, to get to, to bring my son and my daughter, to get to bring them on the field is something, you know, they, I really wanted to do. And, you know, I had a great year last year, but I got off to a, a slow start and, you know, I wanted to play well in the first half so I could go to the All-Star Game. And I didn't get to do that last year. And, so for them to be able to do that, memories we'll never, you never forget. We got lots of videos, and I mean the fact that you know Albert was there hitting home runs, and the you know my my kids knew him, and we were 10, 20 feet away as the whole stadium was chanting his name, and he get to do all that. Um, it was just a really cool memory, and and it had my parents there and my wife's parents, so it was definitely a family affair to uh, create those memories and, and have them forever. Tom, then he capped it with an MVP. Not bad, huh? Oh, just a special, special <laughs> year. Hank Aaron Award. I mean, Silver Slugger, you know it. I, I'm sure there's plenty of room on the mantle, Paul, and I know that you are the ultimate team player. But I'm going to have to ask you now, after coming so close to winning an MVP three other times, what does it mean to you to win your first MVP? Oh, it's great. It's a great honor. It's... Uh, you know, but it isn't just about me. I mean, it is about the teammates I had and the coaches and, and guys I played with in the past, even guys I haven't played with. I've learned a lot from a lot of different players, and I think it means a lot to all of those people, and I hope they know how much of an effect they had on my career, you know, my family here, my parents. I mean, coaches that go all the way back to, to Little League and, and select ball and scouts and minor league coaches and, you know, just different organizations. I mean, there's been so many people that have helped me, and, you know, I just feel like, God has blessed me to surround me with great people, and I've just tried to soak up their knowledge and wisdom and try to use it to the best of my ability. So whether I, I won this or not, it was going to be a great year. This was my best year and the most fun I had, you know, playing with <laughs> Nolan and Albert and so many guys we had. So it was just incredible. Your yeah. son was saying this head, no, Dad, we needed to win the MVP. He was saying no. no. <laughs> uh, just a beautiful family. You know, it's funny. The way, the way you sound you. right now, uh, Paul, it reminds me of Justin Verlander, who had, he would tell you, his best season at the age of 39. It doesn't look like he's slowing down anytime soon. You're playing your best baseball at the age of 35. How much longer do you see yourself doing this? It looks like you're locked and loaded. You want many more. Uh, I don't know. I don't look too far ahead. I just want to try to be good next year. And, and if I can do that, then I'll try to be good the year after that. But, you know, I think definitely as you age, you, you have to adapt. And, and that's some what I've tried to do. I've tried to get ahead of it. You can't just try to do the same thing you did the year before. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, kind of the stigma that as you get older, you're going to keep getting worse. I mean, nobody likes that. They don't like being told you can't do something. So it's definitely motivation to, I want to find a way to still be a good or a great player and, and perform and, and try to win. And, 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 you know, that's in the back of your mind and, you know, just try to continue to do that and find ways to get better um, even as I get older. Well, you pulled that off. You're your National League most <laughs> valuable player. Paul Goldschmidt, congratulations mm -hmm. once again to you and your family. All right, thank you. Thank you so much.